Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make uh, our player shoot something. As you can see right now I have an empty scene with only the player that can move and jump and some grounds. And actually I've already done a tutorial similar to this one, but in this one I'll be using a trigger to trigger some animations. And also we'll be using coroutines to simplify the codes. So with that in mind let's get started. By the way, if you have any different player, this is mine, but you can have your own player, this will also work. So, let's add a component, shoot something, where we'll be doing our code, open it, and now let's think what should we do to shoot something. So, first we need something to shoot. So, let's make a public game object, a projectile. Also, we need to give it some velocity. So, public vector to velocity. And for now, this this will be it. But we'll be adding more variables in very soon. So, we want to press a key whenever we want to shoot. So, on the update function, if input dot get key down, you could also use a button. It's the same thing. And I'm going to use key code T. And the player can shoot. And this will be another variable that we'll be adding that represents the cooldown or the fire rate. So if those variables are true, then we want to instantiate that projectile with a certain position and a certain rotation. And the position will be transform.position plus an offset because we want to instantiate it not in the player itself, not in here, but with an offset, so a little bit to the right in this case, or to the left if it was facing the other direction. So it will be plus the offset. And like I said, to change the direction, we have to multiply the offset by something, and that something will be transform.local scale dot x so that if we want to if the player is facing the other direction its scale will be minus one and the offset will be instead of this way the other way and we also have to give it a, a rotation so quaternion dot identity meaning no rotation now let's add these two variables the first is a bool can shoot which has to be by default true because if it wasn't, we couldn't be able to shoot. Now we can. And the other one is a public vector 2. Offset. And let's make it by default new vector 2. And let's make it 0 0.4 float to the right. And maybe 0 0.1 float up. Meaning, let me save this real quick. Whoops, what we have here? Oh, this has to be a vector 2. Because if you don't know that the position is a vector 3 and the offset, we made it a vector 2, so we have to force the vector we have to force the position to be a vector 2 as well for this to work. And there you go. Now as I was saying, this offset can also be changed in the in here. And if we are facing the other direction, the offset will be multiplied by minus one, so this will work fine. Also, we want to now start the coroutine to make the player have a cooldown where he cannot shoot. So, to make a coroutine, do i enumerator, which is the type of the coroutine, and its name can shoot. And what this coroutine will do is whenever we press to shoot then after that we can't shoot for a period of time and in coroutines to make to wait a period of time all you have to do is type yield return new wait for seconds and give it a value of seconds we can make it cool down and we'll set it that variable above and we're going to make it public so that we can also change it in the inspector so public float cooldown 
and let's make it by default one second and that's done after we wait this one second can shoot goes to true again so that you can shoot again and that's basically it uh, the final thing that I want to do before I take care of the animation is to give this projectile a velocity because right now we're just instantiating it not giving it any velocity so I'm going to make this equal to a game object geo and we have to force this to be a, a game object because as you can see right now it's of type object so we're going to make a cast to game object there you go and now we change the velocity of geo geo dot get component and the component that takes care of the velocity is rigid body 2d dot velocity and you want to make this velocity equal to a new vector 2 where the and because we set here the velocity you can put here velocity dot x and velocity dot y and just like we did here with the position where we multiply the offset by transform the local scale dot x here we have to do the same so that again if the player is facing the other way if this scale is minus one then it shoots the other way so that's also done save and now it's some quick thing to shoot so that I can show you that this is working but before let's set a, a speed here let's make it 5 by 0 like that I have here a projectile which is this one which will also be using in one of the next tutorials so here it is I'm just going to make it a bit bigger this is our projectile I'm going to give it a circle collider and a reduced body 2D so that you can control its speed and let's make just the the collider be a little bit smaller like that there you go that's done and now we can make it a prefab bam now it's a prefab and on the player let's make that our projectile and hopefully uh, if everything is working fine we will be shooting a projectile and there you go we shoot a projectile as you can see although we set the velocity to be 5 because the fireball has gravity it goes down but of course we can also set here to make it kinematic so that it goes all only forward but that's up to you I'm going to actually leave it at kinematic now though the last thing that I want to do is the animation and I have here the animation it's just a player throwing something let me see let me see if I can make that more clear so 10 and 2 points so that we can see the pixels very nicely as you can see it's just this image anyways let's click on the player go on to animation player create new clip and player shoot and that new animation that we just created will be this frame of the player throwing something or whatever and now on the player animator we're going to, to have to make the transitions by the way this is my animator it might be a little bit a little bit different from yours but you, it will work the same way all you have to do is make a transition from the to the animation that we just created player shoot and then make a transition from it to any other animation I'm going to make it to the I'm going to transmit it to the idle because it's the default animation now when do we want to make the the player play the shoot animation we want that whenever we press the T key so in the script we will be controlling a variable or a parameter from here so let's first create that parameter which will be a trigger called shoot and as you can see this is very similar to a bull but like unlike a bull when it turns on it's, it doesn't turn on forever it just turns on for the animation to play and then after that it goes off again anyways click on this transition and let's add a condition to for it to move to that which is a shoot 
and just like that we have our animation setup all we have to do is now on the code make that shoot that uh, should trigger get triggered so do get component animator dot set trigger and you want to make the trigger shoot be triggered like that save and now if I play you'll see that when I press the T key our player does that little animation which seems like he's throwing something and of course you can make it a little faster a little slower but I think it's fine like this and that's basically it for today guys thank you for watching this tutorial like or dislike and see you in the next one